Hi guys, welcome to another Living Nessay TV video, David here. Today we are going to speak about the biggest data center in an African continent, right here in Johannesburg. Don't you believe me? Stay tuned because this video, once again, will blow your mind. Okay guys, so why am I so interested about these data centers in South Africa? We have a various of them, uh, Johannesburg and Durban and also in Cape Town. I will show you guys the maps and um, if you guys don't know how the internet works or how the internet comes to all of us, don't forget to check somewhere around or up here uh, to see the video that I have done this year about Google's investment on the Western Cape of 2.2 billion rand. So you guys can understand and see how the internet comes to us. And again, this is an amazing thing that is happening right now. So now in Campton Park, we have a lot of data centers. The JB1, JB2 and JB3 were just finished a few months ago. And now we're going to have the biggest data center in South Africa or all from Africa, which is the JB4, which will cost $250 million and also will be constructed in Campton Park. And don't miss anything because we're gonna have in five years time probably the biggest the fastest internet in Africa and you know what that means more e-commerce companies will come here and they will open offices here and they will create what you guys love and what is that jobs okay guys so let's learn about the JB4 will also be the largest single site data center on the African continent comprising 50,000 square meters Taraku data environments has begun building a 250 million dollars or 4 billion rand data center in South Africa which it says it will be the largest facility on the continent. This massive facility will be located north of OR Tembo International Airport. Okay guys, so this was the future JB4 data center that will be the done by 2022 but now we're going to see from the outside in a drone perspective the jb1 2 and 3 and then we're going to see the data center from inside and how it works almost every modern business and government offices need their very own data center or they may opt to lease one. Big corporations and government institutions may choose to build and manage them in-house if they have the resources while others choose to rent servers at colos or colocation facilities. Some business owners also have the choice to use public cloud-based services, these data centers are like Fort Knox for information. That is why they need to be protected at all costs. Okay, so very interesting. Let's try to find out what is NAP Africa. Another interesting thing is a NAP Africa which is a not-for-profit neutral internet exchange or IXP located within Taraco's data center facilities in Cape Town, Durban and Johannesburg. NAP Africa IXP's founding goal is to help make internet access more accessible for Africa. Okay, so now let's find out how a data center works inside. Very interesting. Welcome to Terraco's Isando campus. Through its world-class data center infrastructure and network-dense ecosystems, Terraco forms a vital part of Africa's internet backbone, where the world's largest cloud on-ramps are available and many of the leading internet companies peer. This is the most connected data center in Africa, with fiber, wireless and teleport facilities all undersea cables are accessible across the facility through structured cabling to the central meet me rooms with cloud on ramps for amazon google and microsoft's azure located at the digital edge delivering the lowest cloud latencies terico enables and empowers the digital transformation of enterprise across the african continent Access to our facility is tightly controlled through a multi-level security policy 
that includes comprehensive perimeter and building security features. Visitors to our data center are only permitted entry through a pre-authorized access process. A visitor's identity is confirmed visually through formal documentation and additional biometric checks. Detailed logs of all access events at the facility are strictly maintained. Access to client deployments is controlled through key access, issuing and receipt. Our security operations control room monitors the data center facility 24-7 through video surveillance and on-site security personnel. During this time of COVID-19, additional access policies have been implemented to ensure that all visitors practice regular hand sanitizing, maintain social distancing, and wear face masks at all times within the facilities. The Isando campus is strategically located and has over 20,000 square meters of technical deployment space. With easy access loading bays, and spacious service elevators. Cabinets are comprised of 47 U racks with added depth for optimum cooling. All cabinets have unique locks, ensuring that only approved personnel can gain access. To meet client requirements, cabinet access is customizable, including cabinet level biometric access. Throughout the campus, Dedicated client staging rooms, meeting rooms and client lounges are available. Hot aisle containment is deployed for efficient maximization of cooling. Independent temperature monitoring down to a cabinet level automatically adjusts to maintain the optimal temperature and humidity levels at all times. Concurrently maintainable cooling system designs with elements for fault tolerance are built into asset levels. Adiabatic and free cooling designs significantly improve efficiencies. The environment is positively pressurized and is dust free with dedicated anti-static mats. Four seven intelligent multi-zone fire monitoring and early warning smoke detection technology is employed throughout the data center, linked to environmentally responsible gas suppression. There is a municipal power supply of 80 MVA and UPS frequency, voltage and surge stability. Our resilient diesel generators provide for a minimum of 48 hours of backup. Power distribution units manage power to socket level within the cabinets. Africa's most interconnected data centers, enabling the connected enterprise. Terraco. Go to www.terraco.co.za to find out more. okay well guys wasn't this so amazing i hope you guys learned something today don't forget to share subscribe and destroy that like button and i'll see you in the next living sitv video